Good day kids! Welcome to iLearn. We are now on week 4 to 5 of second quarter. In this video, you are expected to identify the points of view or viewpoints on some viewing materials. But before we discuss it, let us review the last lesson that we have tackled. Conjunction A conjunction is a part of speech that is used to connect words, phrases, clauses, or sentences. The keyword is connecting the words or linking them to another. Here are some examples of conjunctions that we can use. Because, but, when, and, so, and then. Now we can practice your knowledge. In this activity, you need to identify if the sentence used the correct conjunction word and its type. The conjunctions used were highlighted already. To make it clear, let's answer number one. Timmy and Tommy are my playful dogs. The conjunction used was and. It is correct since the sentence refers to the two playful dogs. It is also a coordinating conjunction because we can find and in the acronym FANBOYS. Got it? Let's see if we got the correct answers. In number 2, I think it can be Dave or Jericho will play the role of Romeo. Or is the conjunction word and they use it correctly in the sentence because it suggests two possible person who can play the role of Romeo. We can also find OR in the acronym FANBOYS so it is included in the coordinating conjunction. Moving on, let's read number 3. Since I tried my best, I still did not win. From the word con from the conjunction word since, we replace it by although. Why do you think so? It is because since refers to the time of an event, but this sentence contains two opposite ideas. That is why we need to use although. An example of subordinating conjunction. Next sentence. Alexis did not pass her exams nor her assignments. It is correct since nor was used in the sentence to state the two negative alternative or choices. Nor can also be found in the acronym FANBOYS, so it is a coordinating conjunction. Lastly, Jason's mother baked cookies for him, but it was his birthday. We need to replace BUT into BECAUSE. The reason is we cannot find contradicting ideas in the sentence and we use because to explain the reason why the mother baked cookies. The conjunction because is a subordinating conjunction. To sum it up, we have two types of conjunctions. First is coordinating that links two or more words, clauses, phrases, or sentences of equal importance. Just memorize the acronym FANBOYS that are made of, of FOR, AND, NOR, BUT, OR, YET, and SO. The second type of conjunction is subordinating that links a dependent clause to an independent clause. Some examples are ALTHOUGH, BEFORE, AFTER, SINCE, and UNLESS. Great job kids, you have learned well from our previous lessons. Our new lesson is about point of view. Now think of your favorite shows, cartoons, or programs in TV. What opinions or feelings you express when you are watching it? Do you feel happy, sad, motivated, or scared? Those ideas, emotions, or feelings you think and feel are examples of point of view. Try to observe the two pictures below. Can you name and describe it? The first picture is the Philippine Eagle, the national bird of the Philippines, or this image shows how wonderful our nature is to have a species like this. So those ideas and description from different people are example of point of view. Try now to study the second picture. What can you see? Do you feel something looking at this picture? It is black and white photo of a beach where we can feel sadness or remember your past memories. How about you use these guide questions to make your point of view organized and clear? 
we have another sample of picture. First, what can you say about it? It is the famous Filipino bread, pandesal. Second, what particular descriptions can you give? This pandesal look well baked and paired with butter. Next, if you are going to relate the picture to emotions, what do you think are the feelings expressed by the picture? By looking at this picture, we can feel hungry or full. Some may crave to eat pandesal. Other people can remember history of pandesal or their memories with their family. Answering these questions can show your point of views about the image. But what do we call these images? Those are examples of viewing materials that refers to things that are designed to be seen and watched. It can be paintings, illustrations or posters, pictures and videos, anything that we can see and watch. Using our prior knowledge and exp experiences, we can give our point of view or viewpoint about the material. It also refers to the standpoint on how one sees or perceives the world. POV deals with one's personal opinion or perception about a particular viewing material, such as videos and images or illustrations. That means viewpoints vary in each person. Let's have a drill by giving at least five words that will best describe the picture below. You can pause the video to think or write your answer on a paper. Done answering, here are some common descriptions we can keep about the image. It can be a deep sea or maybe there's a storm that is why it is dark and it also feels gloomy because of its gray color. You can also feel lost or see emptiness in the picture because you cannot see anything but the sea. The image also seems endless because you do not know where is the end. Since you can give your own descriptions, try now to describe the feelings or ex emotions expressed by each illustration below. Done. What feelings or emotions did you observe in those pictures? Can you find it here? Because these are examples of emotions and feelings that we can feel and observe. Next activity, you need to write 3 to 5 sentences expressing your point of view about the illustration below. Here are the possible answers that you can write. First, all three boys won the game. It means they are a team. And the team felt blessed because of their trophy. Since you can see their happiness holding their trophy. Or maybe his two friends congratulated him about, it, about his achievement. Only the boy in the middle joined the game and won. You can also write a deeper meaning about their success. Like teamwork is one of the key for the success of the group and even your personal experiences about winning a game. You can relate yourself to the picture. Lastly, to enhance more your skill, you are challenged to search your own sample viewing material. First, paste a picture taken from old newspapers or magazine. You may also use your own photos. Then write three to five sentences describing the point of view expressed by your chosen picture. For kids, you completed these exercises. I hope you learned well in this video. Thank you for listening. See you next week.